this is James Gunn, the guy on the bike. Welcome back our worldwide viewership for another half ass production. We're here at 511 West 25th Street. Well, there goes Stephen Main and Carol Samuelson. We're going to go up and see a show by. Yeah, you know, you know, like. You know. Ellison. <laughs> 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 At McKenzie. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was told by some people downstairs that the show was packed. So we'll see if we can elbow our way in and uh, get some views of some of these paintings. Well, I covered a, uh, it's actually a two-person show, oh, this is a nice one, with uh, Lori and her husband Lars out in Bushwick at the uh, Valentine Gallery. And uh, I found out then that Lori had uh, scheduled this show. So glad to make it here for the opening. Gee, Jerry showed up. There's Fred Valentine. Oh, this guy's a babe magnet. Judy Rifka. Hey, Lars. He's the hubby. Well, I'm looking at the, uh, the gallery listing here and they've got about 42 pieces listed so I'm not going to get all the titles and everything but we'll just take a run through here this is a work on paper untitled well actually that makes it real easy most of these are untitled it's also ink on paper oh you know the other problem is I'm, my battery is running down so I'm going to try to squeeze this in more ink on paper oh there's the artist right there, Lori Ellison. Congratulations. You know, uh, Lori is one of the artists that has kind of gone in the opposite direction of most of the New York painters in that uh, the New York school was known for its scale. This is untitled, and I would say that's probably about six by four inches. Excuse me. But uh, Lori has gone the other direction, has actually gotten into doing very small work, along with a couple of other kind of uh, rebels like Andrew Masillo and uh, James Siena. And there was a guy named uh, Charles Siegler that uh, was actually one of the first people to show with uh, Betty Parsons back in the early 50s was also someone that kind of went in the opposite direction. This is interesting. This is kind of a uh, wood panel with beveled edges and uh, some kind of a pearlescent or uh, glitter element to the paint. It's a very decorative. You know, the other thing I think is remarkable is that uh, this is Lori's first one-person show in New York. That was Vane's 1999. This is titled Frondly. 1998. This is enamel on wood. And she's actually kind of built up a little uh, relief there with her leaf forms. Sea pods. I believe I might have saw, seen this painting before out at a gallery in Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn. Well, as you can see, Lori is kind of a, I guess we'd call an obsessed miniaturist painter. Okay, let's
let's take a close look and see what these forms make you think of. What does that shape make you think of? Stuttled go to the sun. Glitter glue on wood panel. This is nice. This is gouache on wood panel. This is from 2009. And that's 1800 bucks. We've got some more of her works on paper. I really like the way that she kind of takes these grids and warps them and it's all gives you the uh, the feeling of the hand, but it also kind of warps space a little bit. This is untitled. I believe this one is sold. One of these. This is a beautiful piece too. She's really broken away from her grid. This one gives you a great sense of perspective in there. She's really uh, got a lot of uh, line work and uh, shading and chiaroscuro in there, that's nice. Well, now we snagged Lori Ellison. Congratulations, Lori. Thank you so much. Now, the, one of the things that I was surprised about was when you told me that this is actually your first one-person show in New York, is that correct? Well, I had a solo show at a salon gallery, so that didn't count. That didn't count. Well, not in New York, I guess. <laughs> okay, so you've been in New York for how long and working and painting? And 16 years. 16 years, congratulations. Perseverance does pay off, right? Yeah, and my work's all about perseverance. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to ask you about is the scale. You know, I was talking about the fact that a lot of the New York School painting is big, but you're sort of gone in the other direction. What is it about the small scale that attracts you and uh, keeps you uh, engaged? Well, I wrote this essay on modesty in painting, uh, on humility. I was inspired by Mira Shore's essay on humility, but okay. I wrote it. It's, it's actually, I write poetry, and right. it's not your typical artist. But I wanted to go for humility in my work. Now, the other thing I was wondering about is some of the influences. When you look at art, what, what kind of work attracts you? What, what are you influenced by? What inspires you? Uh, I, was, I was doing a painting in grad school, and I came up and I saw, I was at Tyler School of Art, and I saw Yayo Kusama's show, and I said, oh, that's what I'm doing. Just, she is great. <laughs> Any contemporary people that you look at or feel like you're uh, kind of in the, in the same camp with? Well, I saw James Sienna's work and I felt yes. a real affinity to it when I first saw his work. How about Andrew Mussello? I familiar love with his work? Andrew Mussello as well. I love his work. But I haven't been influenced. I just have it up there as one of my stuff. I did, I did see a posting on Facebook where you were sort of... Uh, saying that Mark Rothko is not in the top flight artist and a lot of people would probably debate with you on that. No, no, I, but was, I was sharing a thread where somebody Oh, that was somebody else said that, okay. Somebody else and then I had my response to him. Okay. Rothko is, is a spiritual experience for me. I can't see how anyone would call him second rate. So well, I agree with you on that, really sure. a good thread on what? Facebook. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'll let you get back to your loving public here. Thank but you. Uh, And this represents how many years of paintings do you have here? Well, this is about 10 or 15 years of paintings? Uh, yeah, actually. But the, there's a whole group that were made earlier. And then there's a lot Those of... Those damn paparazzi guys. There's a lot of brand new work. I noticed that. A whole lot of brand new work. 
Okay, Lori Ellison, congratulations. Thank you, Lori. Wait, I'm wait to go. James. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Well, and we're going to wrap up the view of the show with these three little pieces. That's kind of nice. We got the little chain links. That's also a very small panel. That can't be more than about eight by six inches. Lori Ellison here at McKenzie, 511 West 25th Street in Chelsea. Thanks, Kate. Congratulations, a mystic, visionary, geometric, genius, finder of pattern, 